Hello everyone, welcome to the U.S. Marine Channel. The AGM-114L Hellfire Longbow Anti-Tank Missile System is equipped with an active homing radar head and is designed to destroy enemy tank units and other small targets at any time in poor visibility or difficult weather conditions. The complex is based on the AGM-114K Hellfire II missile within the framework of the AAWWS, Airborne Adverse Weather Weapon System, program for the AH-64D Apache and RA-66 Comanche attack helicopters. It was developed by Rockwell International Inc. and Lockheed Martin Corp. Apache helicopters equipped with the composite longbow have a significant increase in efficiency due to the possibility of using the missile in bad weather conditions, the possibility of multiple launches against armored vehicle groups, and a significant reduction in the time taken to find a helicopter under enemy fire when pointing the missile. The first launch test PTRK AGM 114L Hellfire Longbow was conducted in June 1994. This complex was adopted and used by the U.S. Army in 1998. Number of units to be purchased, 12,905. Longbow Limited Liability Company, LBL, was formed under a contract between Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman to produce the complex. Unconfirmed reports indicate that it was used by NATO forces during the 1999 invasion of Yugoslavia. The Hellfire AGM-114L missile, like previous versions, is built in a modular design and consists of five compartments, homing head, CNS, combat unit, BC, control system, engine, and control unit. The control system consists of an inertial control system with compressed gas cylinders, thermal batteries, autopilot, and a three-stage gyroscope. The solid fuel engine is a Thiokol Texas 657, U.S. Navy designation, T-773-3, U.S. Army designation, M-120E-1, with low smoke charge. The combat units are tandem cumulative. The modular design of the missile provides a high degree of unit and assembly interchangeability for the entire model range of AGM-114 missiles. Marconi Electronic Systems has developed an active millimeter wave GSN for the AGM-114 LPTUR. The CNS is characterized by high noise immunity, resolution, and accuracy due to the narrow radiation pattern of the antenna. The SOS range is from 12 kilometers to 16 kilometers. The CNS is a high resolution, low noise, and low noise device. The transmitter device CNS is located behind the antenna and is made on a gallium arsenide based chip. The operating frequency of the CNS, 94 GHz, was chosen to ensure reliable operation and best resolution in rain and fog. The Marconi CUS system from Marconi Electronic Systems, called Brimstone, is used in the UK. Targets are searched by the TADS, Target Acquisition Designation Site, or ANAPG-78, FCR Fire Control Radar Sighting System, and the data is transferred to the CNS of the AGM-114L missile. The sighting equipment includes an ANUAS-12C infrared tracker with 30x magnification that provides a thermal image of the target day or night, a daytime TV camera, and a DVO camera that provides full-color magnification of the target in both darkness and sunlight. 
the ANAPG-78 radar is stealthy to enhance helicopter survivability on the battlefield and, in combination with the onboard equipment, provides automatic detection of moving and stationary targets recognition of observed targets and determination of their importance by five types of targets on the ground and in the air. Coordinates are transmitted to the AGM-114L missile, allowing it to track detected targets. The sighting equipment includes an ANUAS-12C infrared tracker with 30x magnification that provides a thermal image of the target day or night, a daytime TV camera, and a DVO camera that provides full-color magnification of the target in both darkness and sunlight. The ANAPG-78 radar is stealthy to enhance helicopter survivability on the battlefield and, in combination with the onboard equipment, provides automatic detection of moving and stationary targets recognition of observed targets and determination of their importance by five types of targets on the ground and in the air. Coordinates are transmitted to the AGM-114L missile, allowing it to track detected targets. The missile can acquire the target prior to launch or after launch, depending on whether the target is within the area of the missile's CLO. In the latter case, missile movement is controlled by an inertial control system in the initial flight segment. Guidance of the AGM-114L missile is possible by transfer of external target designation via data transmission from another helicopter equipped with a longbow complex and helicopters can be positioned more than 700 meters from each other, the helicopters can be placed at a distance of more than 700 meters from each other. The Hellfire Longbow Complex includes the new two-position or four-position launcher M299, designed for standard 356mm NATO suspension units and equipped with a MIL-STD-1760 digital multiplexer interface, it has a MIL-STD-1760 digital multiplexer interface. An empty M299 PU weighs 43.6 kg in two positions and 66 kg in four positions. The weight of the equipped PUS is 141 kg and 260 kg respectively. The M299 can be used to launch all previous versions of Hellfire missiles starting with the AGM-114A, 